Hi there, Chris here. So, uh, it, within the last couple of days, Pocket Woman um, posted a video on, I believe it's this lock. It's it's a Miller uh, elephant lock. And I said, oh, I think I have one. I don't have a key, but I'll dig it out and see what we can see on it. Now, hers is all rusted, um, very rusted, and has a chain attached to it. I don't... I don't think she had a key either, but um, I said I would dig mine out to see if there's any date or anything, and it just doesn't have anything other than this elephant, and it says trace mark, not trade mark there. I don't know if that's a typo, or, and it says um, Miller Lock Company, Philadelphia, PA, USA, but nothing else on it, and I have not managed to pick it. I've tried with these sparrows warded picks and I don't if I don't pick it up the best I've been able to do is to put this pick wire in here and find uh, one sweet spot where I get a little bit of spring but I think it might be one of those locks that the spring you see the sh uh, shackle moving just slightly there? Just slightly. There it is. But I can't turn it without spinning this wire in the holder and also bending the wire. And a thicker wire is not going to fit in here. So I haven't quite, <laughs> I haven't gotten this haven't gotten to this yet. Can I go in the back? See, the back opening is a little smaller. Where would we... Well, that's a little bit too far, huh? <laughs> um, so, no, I haven't figured that out. But this is mine. You can see it once had a nice gold wash over everything. Um, the key is going to be something like this. This is an English lock, and that you could feel it, and it really just has, I, it, it's just one little sweet spot lever you, that controls it, and uh, I have picked this, but the key's going to be something like this one, but this, this key doesn't quite fit in here, oddly enough, smaller lock. Bigger lock, but the key doesn't fit. So I can't get around there. Anyway, I may still play. So that's for Pocket Woman. And then <clears throat> Jack Fox just last night um, showed a tour, a two tour German lock. And uh, I have one, and he was. He did manage to pick his, and um, I said I would check mine out, see what, you know, what it was like. I have managed to pick it up. I'll put a link to that video uh, in a pinned comment. But here's the key in that video. I don't really show the key very well. See, you have this little cutout here, so there's some sort of warding that you got to miss. But actually, how this works, two tour, means you have to turn it twice to get your open. And if you turn it once back, it's locked. But if you turn it, you've got to turn it twice to open it. And is that really locked? Yes, it really is locked. And each time you turn it, oh, okay, three times, the third time around, then it just really stops moving. So, still kind of a mystery. Um, Chris Jones chimed in on the comments on my original video on this. And uh, like I say, I did manage to pick it. It took quite a while using this and this. Pick, 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 turn, pick, turn. Oh, the other thing is, see, this keeps spinning around, but what I did in the video is just get it to the point where I could feel tension, 
and then picked from there, which is kind of weird. But I did manage to get it open, and you can watch that video if you're interested. Anyway, Jack, Jack Fox, my buddy. Um, I did I did comment on his, said I'd find the video. I did put a link to his the video on his channel. So anyway, a very cool German lock. All right, I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, ask a question. If I can find an answer or find a lock, um, I will do that. Okay, see you next time.